Hey everybody, last week I gave a tour of my bedroom and I said eventually I'll give a tour of the rest of my apartment, so that's what we're going to do today. So, here we go. Here it is. I live in a basement apartment. And this is it. Start over here with my tools. There's my tool shelf. And here is a furnace room slash storage area. Here is the bathroom. Here is a couch, love seat area. Here is another bedroom that's about to be rented. Some guy's gonna move in here in a few days. Um, his name's Don. He's in his 70s. He just got out of jail. He's going to move in here in a few days. This is his bedroom. Okay, we're back out here. Here's my, my counter area. Steps. Here's my shoes. Storage closet. And here is the kitchen area slash shower so here's a refrigerator table here's a soil tiller microwave toaster pizza maker cleaning supplies and here is my shower yes my shower is right next to my refrigerator right next to my Microwave, which is kind of weird, but I'm in a basement apartment, so it's whatever. I don't really care. So the entire house has eight bedrooms, and they're rented per bedroom, and we share utilities. So, so now I'm going to show you the upstairs. Here's my own side entrance. This is the first floor. Here's a kitchen that everyone in the house shares. Here's our back door in our backyard. The kitchen is usually more messy than this just because we share it with so many people. But that's the kitchen. Here's an entryway. Some people store their bikes here. Front door. Here's the front yard and the front porch. It's a pretty good size yard for um, the part of town I live in. It's nice. It's a nice quiet area too. Here's the living room area. Here's the dining room. A nice thing about living with so many people is that the rent is really low. One of the bad things is like sometimes people just store their junk in random places and create messes. So here's the dining room. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to show you upstairs just because that's just the other six people's bedrooms and um, two more bathrooms. There's not much to see up there. Most people think it would suck living down in a basement bedroom, but I actually prefer it to living in the ones upstairs because down here I have a lot more privacy. Like I can play music loud at night. And I don't bother anybody because there's two floors between me and the people upstairs. And if they're being loud, they don't bother me because there's two floors between us. And the landlord also charges less for the basement bedroom, so I'm saving even more money that way. My, my living expenses are really, really tiny. I'll 
talk about that more in a future video. Um, I also have more storage space down here. Like, I have room to put all my tools out here and my, and my shoes and stuff. And um, the people upstairs don't have extra space like that. And I have a lot more room in the, in the fridge. I have a fridge to myself right now. And the people upstairs, there's six people. They have to share a fridge with six people. So, yeah, the only downside of living down here in the basement bedroom is the... Um, the small window there's a tiny window in my bedroom um the people upstairs have a lot more sunlight but that's really the only downside and the small ceilings like i can touch the ceilings but other than that i don't really mind it i um like it down here so there you go that's a tour of my apartment